Hello. Today we are going to go through a really interesting problem with Ruby on Rails. So if I go to my posts and create a new post, whatever the title is, here it is. You see, everybody sees the ID of the post by default. Instead of seeing an SEO and human readable friendly uh, URL to the post, everybody sees just the ID. And the person can also know how many posts we actually have inside our application. So this way, by default, we show the ID of each record in our database. And we don't want to show the ID. Why should we tell everybody in the world how many records we have in our database? Instead, we want our URLs to be SEO and human readable friendly. So to do this, we're going to use the most popular solution in Ruby on Rails for this, the gem friendly ID. Now, there are actually a few different gems for obfuscating uh, IDs and uh, showing human readable URLs, but this one is the most popular and uh, widely understood solution. So you can see that there are 30,000 uh, public applications that are using it. So it is extremely widely popular. Now, how do we install friendly ID and use it? So here is again an example. Instead of showing the like states uh, just ID or whatever, we can show a human readable one. So going here to the gem. We are going to add this gem to our gem file. Okay. And what is next? Yeah, of course, we'll run bundle. And then we are going to add a migration, add slug to, well, to posts. So the slug is uh, the human readable ID that the post is going to have. I will say, uh, I'll stop the server and say Rails generate migration, add the uh, slug to posts and the uh, slug should be unique now slug is uh, the, the database uh, attribute inside the table where we're going to keep uh, our human readable url let's have a look at this migration migrate add slug to posts here you see they're adding the field and they're saying that it uh, should have a unique index Okay, and uh, next it tells us that we can run Rails generate friendly ID. Let's see what happens if we run this command. So you see it creates an initializer and it creates an additional migration. And what does this migration say? So it suggests us to create an additional database table with friendly ID slugs. Now we are going to come back to this later. We don't need it right away. So I'm just going to remove this migration. We are going to go, first of all, with a very lean approach to install friendly ID, we don't need this additional complexity with an additional database table in our application yet. We are just going to add the slug to our posts. And also I can remove friendly ID from our initializers because we are not overriding it yet. So, okay, we can run Rails to be migrate and uh, let's do that. And it says, so we can add the uh, friendly ID to our model to say that we want to actually use it. So we would add something like this to our posts. Let's go to app, models, post. And here we would add something like extend friendly ID. Friendly ID, uh, well, friendly ID would be taken out of the title. We don't actually need this here. So we are telling the application that inside the post model we are using the extension friendly id and that the slug this friendly url should be taken out of the title so it should be generated based on the title of the post let's see if it works rails server now i will go to post and create a new post i'll say how to use friendly id some kind of content and create the post. And uh, it says couldn't find post with ID, how to use friendly ID. Okay, maybe I should restart the server. Re ah, no, I shouldn't. Okay, here is the problem. Couldn't find post with ID, how to use friendly ID because we should actually tell our controller that we should find the post not by the regular ID, but by the friendly ID. So we would need to go to our controller and add this friendly to our params. So I would go to controllers, post controller, and here inside post, we would say 
post.friendly.find.params ID. And if I refresh, and if I also start the server, you see, now we have a friendly URL. Let's try with one more post. Let's say installing Ruby on Rails. And you see the friendly URL has been generated, so it works. Now, if you don't want to add uh, this friendly to your controller, instead you can try saying something like, uh, I'll just comment this out now. So you see, I've removed this friendly from the controller. And inside our post RB, we can say that we are using friendly ID for title, use slogged, and also use finders. Now I will refresh. And here, when we add this use finders, it will automatically kind of add this uh, friendly to our set post. So we don't have to do anything inside our controller. We just uh, added this friendly through our model. And you see, everything works. Now, what if we check some kind of old record? So here are some records that have been previously created. I open the record, and here you see, we see the ID of the post, but not the friendly URL. Now, to update old records, we would run a command like uh, uh, user of all post, find each, and save. Let's try this. Rails console, post, find each, and save. OK. And let's check in the console p equals post find with the id one and we can say p dot friendly id and here we see the friendly id of the first post let's say p equals post find 13 p dot friendly id so here you see uh, the friendly ids for all the old posts have been generated based on the post titles so it seems to work well Yes, and actually we can also find the post not only by the ID now, but we can find the post by the friendly ID. Let's try post.find, and inside I will add uh, this. Okay, and here you see we found the post by the friendly ID. Now, if uh, what if we remove these finders from our friendly ID inside the model? Let's see, I will say Rails console once again, and I will say post find install Ruby on Rails. You see, it doesn't work because we've removed finders from our model, but if we type post.friendly.find, you see it works. So you should have this friendly inside your console. If you don't have it in your model, you should have it in your uh, controller. If you don't want to use uh, finders inside your model, and that's basically it for this finder method. Okay, going back, let's uh, exit the console and see what else uh, Friendly ID can offer us. Now, here you can see in the description that it says that Friendly ID is a Swiss Army bulldozer for using the, for making the URLs friendly. And why is it so? Because it has a lot of different extensions. Now we've covered just the basic usage, and now let's try something a bit more uh, complicated. So let's see. Let's uh, see if two posts have the same title. What will happen? Here we have, uh, let's create two posts. So same title, this post. And let's create the post. And I will create one more post for the same title. So you see, we've created the post and it has the same title. And afterwards, it has an additional automatically generated hash. So this way, it allows us to have multiple posts with the same title, but new posts would have some kind of additional hash afterwards. And uh, what if we want, don't want to have some kind of additional hash uh, afterwards? Well, what if we want to have some kind of part of the content of the post afterwards? Let's uh, try. Now, if we go into the deeper documentation of Friendly ID, let's go to Wiki and go to this guide. There is such a thing as slug uh, candidates. So 
candidates. Basically, if the name is already taken, then we can also use the name and city and so on. Let's try to use slug candidates and uh, see if we can use the title and name, uh, the title and content of the post if the title is already taken. So we would add something like def slug candidates and we would have the title and afterwards we would have the title and the content. Okay, let's see if it works. So once again, I'll just in case restart the server. And I will create a new post with the same title. And add some kind of content, some content. Okay, I press create post. And let's see. Okay, it didn't seem to work, so we don't have the content inside our post title. Let's uh, try once again. Okay, it didn't seem to work either. Let's see, maybe we are missing something. Possibly the second part should also be a string. Okay, I understood what my problem was. So instead of using title for friend lady, I should actually use the slug candidates right here. So let's try one scan and see if it works. I will go back and create an additional post with the same title. And let's see, I create the post. And this time I'm using the Slack candidates inside friendly ID. And let's see. Okay, it still didn't seem to work. Now, did I definitely say Slack candidates here? I'll try once again. And it still didn't work. Now, why didn't it work this time? Because the content was blank. So that's why it was generating just a random slug later on. Once again, I will go and create a post with the same title and some magic content and create the post. Let's have a look at the URL. So you see here we have both the title and the content. So this is how you can use this option for slug candidates. Looks good, doesn't it? Now, what if uh, we have a case when we create a post, so the post has a title, and we want to change uh, the title of the post? What will happen? I go to edit, same title, one to three, update the post, and does the slug change? No, it doesn't. You see, the slug hasn't changed. But what if we actually want the slug to change? Then we change the title of the post. Well, we would do... Uh, add another option. We would add an option as uh, should generate new friendly ID. And yeah, we can say that it should be either true or false or conditionally true. So we would say that yes, it should uh, generate new friendly ID, for example, if the title has changed. Let's uh, see if it works. I will uh, go and edit the post. And let's say one, two, three, ABC. I update the post and let's have a look at the title of the post. You see it has changed to the same title, one, two, three, ABC. So this way we've updated the title of the post. And if we go just to same title, one, two, three, you see we have nothing. There is no such record, but there can be a problem. What if uh, a title of the post changes and uh, there were previous links in different places to the previous title of the post. So people would have a 404 uh, no such uh, URL error. Well, we don't want people to be redirected to our posts and uh, just get an error that something is not found. We would want uh, old URLs to redirect to new URLs. And this is where we would use the friendly ID option named history. Now, this is a really powerful option. and uh, this is where we are going to need this additional database table. So we are going to keep all the 
past friendly IDs of all the posts and all other records inside our database and link them to the existing URLs. Now let's see how it works. I'm going to actually run this migration Rails generate friendly ID. Let's do that. And here you see it's adding this create friendly ID logs. So a new database table where we keep all the history, all the previous uh, URLs to all our posts, to all our users and all our other records that are using friendly ID. So we're gonna run Rails to be migrate. And we're going to say that we will also use history. Now we can also see this option inside our official guides. So again, it's avoiding for false when slugs change. So we are going to add history and let's see if it works. So I will start the server Rails S. Okay, I'll restart the console. Rails S. Go to some kind of post. I'll create actually a new post. Let's name it with history. Okay. And now I will change the, I will copy this. I will go and change the URL. So I will edit the post with history ABC. I update the post. You see the URL has changed. And now I'm going to the previous URL just with history. I refresh the page and it works. So you see the old URL to the post works, though it is the same post. And this is fantastic. So here is an example of using the history. And actually we can also access uh, all these methods uh, inside the console. Let's just try Rails console. Uh, let's say p1 equals post dot create title will be uh, using friendly ID. Let's say p1 dot friendly ID. Here it is. Let's create another post with the same title. And let's also add some content. So content will be whatever. And let's check the friendly ID of the second post. I will go and say p2.friendlyid. And here you see we have the title and the content because we are using Slack candidates. So here's a perfect implementation of uh, friendly ID. And that's basically it. You see, it uh, has a lot of options and uh, you don't always need to use history. You don't always need to use slug candidates. And in many cases, you can just have one URL that is generated on the creation of the post and you don't need to generate it. And uh, again, you don't always need to add this additional database uh, table. You don't always need to add this additional history complexity based on your application. So that's basically it. That's how you can use friendly ID, the Swiss Army knife for generating URLs in a Ruby on Rails application. So thanks for being with me and uh, have a nice day.